sunny, sunny day today. Good morning. It is very bright in this area of my house today. Um, this is my typical get ready zone. I don't normally film my videos here, but actually the light is, um, oh, I don't know, is it a bit, is it a bit much? Let's turn you down. I, don't know. I hope you enjoyed. <coughs> oh my God. <clears throat> haven't spoken today, clearly. Hope you enjoyed the mini kind of morning <laughs> montage. I find these really relaxing to film. I love a routine video, so I don't know, I thought I would kind of incorporate that into my get ready with me today. I'm just gonna do a super, super simple look. Um, on a typical day, if I'm working from home or if I'm just running a few errands or something, I don't wear a ton of makeup because I just can't really be bothered. <laughs> Unless I'm filming or testing something specific, this is kind of my go-to look. So I'm just gonna go in with, you can't even see, a bit of lip balm. This is the Sunbeam, no, Sunbum Coco Balm. Very nice, easy, simple, kind of everyday, <laughs> everyday lip balm. At night, I like to use my Laneige sleeping mask. Um, but if I am going in with a lip liner or a lipstick or something, this is just a bit more lightweight and I find that lip products apply really nicely over the top. Most days I won't even wear a foundation. Again, if I'm just working from home or running a couple of errands or something, I would just use concealer. This is the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. This is a really nice one because it is really lightweight and thin. So if you're not using a foundation, but you want a bit more coverage around the face, this is a really nice one. So I've just taken a bit of my ring finger I'm just gonna go under my eyes. Then I do take a little bit around the center of my face as well. Just gonna take my Rose Ink number three foundation brush just to kind of help blend that into the skin. I'm using all natural light as well this morning because I thought, I don't know, just kind of fit with the realistic morning routine vibe. And I actually do quite like the lighting over here. I feel like you can see everything quite clearly, so yeah, let me know. So that's the concealer applied. Of course, you can use a tiny bit more. You can add foundation or an even uh, filler coverage concealer. But for me, on a daily basis, I actually really like how fresh this makes my skin look. It doesn't look dry or cakey, and I really enjoy it for more minimal makeup days. I am going to set that down with a bit of my By Beauty powder. And I'm only setting where I have put the concealer, so underneath my eyes, and then just a tiny bit around the T-zone. So I'm gonna use a cream blush and then a powder bronzer. So I'm actually gonna use the blush, the blush, yeah. I'm actually gonna use the blush first. So I've got my little elf uh, multi-stick in glistening peach. I really like this and I find the color and the finish to be quite similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, beauty, what are they called? Glowgasm? <laughs> Wand in the shade Pinkgasm. I find this one to be really similar on the cheeks. I know that obviously the component is quite different. This is a stick, um, but I do really enjoy the finish. Just really fresh. And the shade as well is a lovely pinky peach. Really healthy looking. And nice if you still want um, a, bit of, a bit of glow. So I'm just building that up on my cheeks. I've got my Real Technique stipple brush here. A really easy product to work with. And I do prefer to take the product um, onto my brush directly from the stick. Just find it's a bit easier to work with that way. Sun is about to stream through the window right now. And then the other end of the spectrum, I've got my Chanel powder bronzer. I find that when I look at Chanel online, like all of their products have the same name, <laughs> but there might be like one word or something that's different. Um, so for clarity, this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Luminous Color, and I have the shade medium here. So I'm just pressing this into my skin with this Eco Tools powder brush. I really enjoy the tone of this. This is my favorite autumn winter bronzer because even though it is the shade medium, I find that it still is quite sheer and very, very buildable. I just feel like the light would not really show up. 
so happy I went for the medium. And yeah, it's one that I always pull out this time of year. To set that down even further, I'm gonna use my Too Faced setting spray. If you want to lock your makeup in place, but you don't want to use any additional powder, I think a setting spray is the perfect way to go. This is quite a nice one to just lightly set and kind of refresh the skin. For my brows, of course, I'm using my tinted brow gel from Kosas. This is the easiest, laziest, and just quickest way <laughs> to fill in your brows if you are in a little bit of a rush. So I first actually back comb my brows. A little trick I've been doing recently. And I find that that just gets every brow hair coated and it just makes the filling in process a lot quicker. So on my eyes, I'm gonna take the bronzer that I used, the Chanel one, I'm gonna pinch my brush and I'm actually just gonna go across my eyes with that. I'm not really gonna add anything, anything else. This will just add a little bit of something. I probably should have used like an eyeshadow brush, but sometimes when you're in a little bit of a rush, you just use what you have in front of you. This has a nice glow to it as well, this bronzer, so I find it works quite nicely. Then I'm just gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Barbarella Brown Liner, which is a really nice deep brown eyeliner. Definitely prefer to use brown over black most days. And I'm just gonna line my upper lash line. So you can just see it's added a tiny bit of depth definition to the lash line, but it's not too crazy. It's not like a smoky eye or a full on like winged liner, it just adds a bit of something. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. Probably need to buy a new mascara at some point, um, but this one is still going strong, so. Really like this for natural days as well because you can apply quite a light layer and it'll give you, you know, a good amount of definition, but it's not gonna give you kind of overpowering spider lashes. I don't tend to apply any to my lower lashes on a daily basis. If I'm doing a bit more eyeshadow, like a full on eye look, then I will, because I do think it ties the look together quite nicely, but day to day, I just stick to my upper lashes. For my lips, this is my favorite lip combo at the moment, and it's entirely drugstore, so we love that. So I'm first going to start with my NYX lip liner in natural. This is one of my favorite lip liners. I recently did a lip liner video on my shorts and so all of my lip liners are freshly sharpened because I obviously sharpened them for that video so I could swatch them. So it's really nice to use a lip liner that is not blunt. And then I am going to top that off with my Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil in Strawberry Melon which is a really nice bright pink. This is such a brightening shade. I just love it. Lip oils definitely give you that like clean, clean girl aesthetic. Uh, but I really, I love this one. So this is my very easy, quick, everyday get ready with me when I'm just in a bit of a rush. I'm doing my morning routine. I need to get to work. I need to do whatever I need to do. <laughs> this is the look that I will typically go for. It takes me like five to 10 minutes. Obviously today I was talking through and explaining the products, but normally I'm just there kind of going at a very fast pace, <laughs> trying to get makeup on my face. So I really hope that you enjoyed this very quick little morning routine video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.